we close our eyes so that we can look more carefully at the mind. Years back I was teaching a retreat someplace, and they're saying, well, we practice so that we can help the world, so why aren't we keeping our eyes open while we meditate? That's a big misunderstanding right there. We're practicing because we want to train the mind. We realize that the source of all the suffering that weighs us down is the mind itself. This is where the problem is. This is where the solution is going to be. And this is where you have the resources that can contribute to that solution. You have some mindfulness. You have some alertness. You have the desire to do well in life. Those are all good things. We just learn how to focus them inside now, to watch ourselves, to see what's going on in the mind. And when the Buddha talks about contentment, sometimes you hear it said that, well, you should be content with whatever comes up in the mind. But the Buddha never said that. In fact, he said you're content with food, clothing, shelter, the things outside that support you in the practice. And as long as it's good enough for the practice, it's good enough. Where you focus your discontent, he said, is inside the mind itself. You see, if there's anything unskillful, you want to do something about it. You can't just sit there with it. You may sit with it for a while to understand it, but once you understand it, you don't let it continue to have power over the mind. You do what you can to get rid of it. And that applies not only to unskillful qualities, but also to skillful ones. If not good enough yet, well, you want to get something better. Keep working at it. So contentment outside, discontent inside. Not so much that you feel frazzled, but just realize, okay, there's work to be done. Years back, someone wrote to us, they found this passage on the website where the Buddha says he attributed the success of his awakening to the fact that he was discontent with skillful qualities. And they said, this must be a misprint. Well, it's not a misprint. It's what he actually said, translated in English. And it's important quality to learn how to handle that discontent so it keeps you on the path, doesn't get you discouraged. At the same time, keeps reminding you that there's work to be done. There's work to be done. And this is where it's to be done, right here in the mind. So we close our eyes so that we can forget about the issues of the world for the time being, so we can focus our attention on the mind. The training of our mind will have an impact on the world, but we want it to have an impact that's naturally good, that comes from a source of genuine goodness inside. This is where it's really important. So when you close your eyes, you're not closing your eyes to what needs to be done. You're opening your inner eyes so you can see clearly where the problem is and what can be done to solve it.